Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to Manifest Destiny in Victoria 2 with the Historical Project mod. And where we last left off, we're sending our expeditionary forces down to the coast of Vietnam for a quick little and hopefully swift war against Vietnam to turn them into a protectorate so we can have a true stake in Asia. Right now, we are currently wrapping up this war with Sokoto. And are you finally giving up? Thank God. All right, so Sokoto is done. <laughs> we just wrapped up this war, so never mind about that. Where we are going to do now is focus solely on Asia uh, for the moment. We got to make this war swift. This war is costing us, uh, like, all this Funding is costing us a pretty penny because of our fucking terrible, terrible government. So what I'm doing is causing an election right now because we have to get out. Like these bourbon Democrats are fucking jackasses who don't know how to run their own ass. Uh, blue and brown water school so we can dig Wake Island. What I'm going to do is get us like straightened out for this. Right. We have now Sokoto, which means, yes, indeed, we can build Africorps, our African troops. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now, because I want these guys to fight on their own turf with their own rules. Most of these guys aren't going to get built, but... So be it. They will all link up in Benin. Okay, I have it as a rally point. Right. Let's get you guys the hell out of here. We're already going on an adventure in Asia. Don't need any more hardships. So right now, how far away we are from Vietnam? Okay, we're not too far away. We're getting there. Lions offer from Colombia. Lions offer from Mexico. Sure. I think they broke it after that if and or but conflict. And I also want to check sphere of influence. From Bolivia. Kind of neglected Chile right now, but. Soon, they're almost done, especially Peru, Bolivia. Like, southern Peru is almost within our grasp. Right now, we just need this investment bank to finish up. Invest over here. Give up Manitoba, you bastard. We have lost the effects of war. Yeah, but we're about to gain it right back. Again, once I get these guys landed in the Vietnam, I am going to basically dump this. Need be, it will be helpful if France accepts a uh, joint little mission over here with me. Because it'll, I hope the French, if they want to take over Cambodia and annex it for themselves in this conflict, I'll let France have it. <laughs> Believe me, I will let them have it. And then let me just have the rest of Vietnam. All right. You guys make it down here. All right. And you guys can just rest up. And we are just a few days away from Philippines. Let me speed up the time. All right, so right now, let me double back. And I want to get the Republicans back into power. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, actually, no, I might be wrong about that. It's a lot of fair is still fine. But we get protectionism. Now, 
if we just had the regular Democrats, I would be fine with them as well. But these, or even fuck the Southern Democrats, these Bourbon Democrats, no. So what we're gonna do, full citizenship. Try to promote these guys. All right, the boats, the boats are fine. Let's hurry up and trigger this war. Cause I wanna cut our naval spending down. Yeah, let's cut the naval spending down. We need to earn some money back. All right, get up there and let me see. France will accept. All right, so I'm gonna do this. If I don't want to bring in everyone, let's do that. For, like <laughs> France is gonna help us evade Vietnam. How poetic! It's almost as if. It's like deja vu. <laughs> right, I'll drop you guys off in Da Nang. Japan looks like they are saying, fuck it. I think Japan is mainly worried about uh, Korea, but look, they only have 12 boats. They just got themselves in a overly fatalistic war. All right, so cut down naval spending by everything. Save us the extra buck, and you guys just park down in Manila. Let's do that. So, okay, so we're at least generating some income. We're back in the green. All of our ships are safely in port. And continue to expand some of our naval bases uh, around the country. Uh, oh, that's good. What about Hawaii? Uh, Hawaii's fine. Oh, they're still expanding. Wait, is this another thing? Oh, shit. I am so fucking stupid. <laughs> that's why there's such a huge artillery backup. It's not the fact that we aren't getting enough artillery. It's the fact that the artillery is being eaten up by all the forts I decided to make. Ay, 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 ay. That's, that's the main holdup. That's why there's such a backlog. It takes 40 artillery. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's probably one of the, like, top reasons why. Oh, well, we have some iron class done. Okay, so, it's, it's coming around, it's coming around. Anyway. Operation America. All right. Split you guys up. You have no military leader. I'll give you someone here. So you won't be completely defenseless down here. You guys go south. You guys hit up north. Pluralism. Let's do this. I want... I want the Republicans back in power. For Christ's sake. We need, though... Oh, uh, British just conquered all of Egypt, as it does happen. Our African troops are being made. Good work. Actually, I don't want you guys to link up in Benin. Link up in Sokoto. All right, invest in Manitoba. Oh, looks like the British, um... Oh, yeah, they're being tied up in uh, the Southeast Asia. Yeah, they're being tied up right now. Great. Uh, what about South Africa? You also being tied up down here? No. Damn, they're getting this like they got Botswana pretty much. I'm aiming for Central Africa. We get the heart of darkness. We're going to get a shit ton of pop. That's why I'm aiming for. Let's head back to Vietnam, see how everything's going. Vietnamese troops don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, let's make all pop more liberal. Up there, 
All right, so our war chest is being rebuilt again, saving up for all these big conflicts later. I, I'm afraid of like these great wars. All right, let's see that. Oops, my infrastructure map mode. All right, looks like South of Vietnam is gonna be a piece of cake. Anyway, we could. I know, don't sit them as interesting. Oh yeah, this damn jingoism thing. Alright. Uh do 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 do. Alright, let's just we will help you. What we want is for these guys to get out. I this anti war policy, like anti military and all that other garbage, limited citizenship. Uh, like that if we had at least interventionism or like protectionism state capitalism i would be okay with it but like without it like all that especially the anti-military stuff is holding us back we need a strong military oh cambodia is very hey vietnamese reactionaries kill them let's see what's going on up here in europe I think Germany rectified its situation. Uh, I don't like this German-Italian alliance. Last time I remember them getting into alliance, a lot of bad things went down. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Let us, I'll put 1% for All right, this one will be done February of next year. And it'll be quick. Yeah, let's do this. Scientific manage management. I want us to have like more output of our factories for the time being. All right, you guys can cross over into Cambodia. <laughs> October 10th, a new ruling party will be selected. Ooh, what is this? African farms and mines. Steam and combustion engines as well as electricity and railways are promoting nothing short of a revolution in certain places of Africa. New places are cleared for bigger plantations and mines are expanded at unprecedented speed. With the proper incentive, we can speed this process up, greatly expanding the fi Oh yeah, let's do that. Make those mines large. Make me more money. Belgium fears on might. Austria goes to war with Hungary. Ooh, Austria. All capitalists and Laredo funds 300. Let's give it to the capitalists. You get money. So Austria is about to annex Hungary. Will this form the Austro-Hungarian Empire? In a backwards ass way, but will it form it? Oh Lord, I don't like how <laughs> Central Europe is looking, especially with this bastardization in Austria. Lions offer from Haiti, I guess. Uh, we'll ally the little guy. It's our neck of the woods. Okay. I'm happy with this. Democrats, I am completely happy with this. I'd rather have them than the fucking bourbon Democrats. Those bastards. Hang on. And, like, yeah. 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 Uh, oh, wait. Yo, you. You. Go back up. It, down tax the hell out of you guys <laughs> all for industry for progress except larger taxes <laughs> oh! what the fuck oi France Don't tell me they had like a fucking event that just gave this to them. Oh, you fucking bastard. Ah! Son of a bitch. No. Fuck this. I'm getting me something out of this. We're gonna expand one way or another. I don't care how much, you know what?
let me see. Before I go ahead with this, uh, population density. Uh, 117. It'll be worth the end for me. And since we have pro military, the Cassus Belly will be faster. France, you bastard! You son of a bitch! Hang on, I need to fund the. But we can lower army maintenance to like 50% as compensation. Those damn French! They managed to actually, like, I swear, that must have had to have been an event. Because it just popped into, like, their thing. 4.4 infamy. Okay, that just kept us below the limit. That's fine. What in the flying fuck? Ah. What? Let's see. Britain just gave them the rest of Canada? Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Diplomacy, no, uh, politics. Hmm. Niame and Say. Let's see, is that anywhere over here? Could I release the Congo? Like, yeah, uh. Oh, will it be like states up here? Let me see. I kind of want to lower our amphibie a little bit. Could release Cuba as a satellite. I want to, like, I really want to, like, release it as a satellite just so um, I get the less amphibie, but also it'll help out. Um, with the fact that I don't really need them anymore. I kind of just use them as like a naval base. So what is this? You have to get Heart of Darkness done. All right. Organize the Congo. You know, let's do this decision. I want to see what this does. Just for shits and giggles. So. Hey, I don't think that did that. Anything is particular. Yeah, this is. Here's our my Austria expands. So Austria, I think they just annexed them. So that organized Congo event. We also do organized Nigeria on Ife on Calabar. Was it because wait? No, that's not it. Something happened. Not sure what, but something happened. So, get that out of the way. Come on, you guys. Let's hurry up. Send you guys home. Damn you, France. Ugh. That was such a... That was such a low blow, France. I want to... Uh, I please get a uh, recovery tick no more? Mm 
We'll wait. We'll bide our time and wait. Are you? Oh, you're taking a... So this is going to be the race over the two core empire. Since we already initiated this cast's belly, it might as well like see through. They're going to take over Western Mali. They can have those damn fruits and vegetables. We'll take over Eastern Mali. We'll divide and conquer. Carving up the empire. Carving up. You guys took, damn it, China, I mean, Vietnam away from us to form your little Indochina scheme. You bastards. All right, next month. Actually, you guys should have enough. Uh, you have more than enough to make it to the West Coast. But I'm actually gonna sit you guys back over here to Tampa. Those bastards. We were so close. Like everything was going smoothly. I was already I already had South Vietnam. I was moving into Cambodia. I had troops up north fighting. Then all of a sudden France just has, I guess, an event that just said, hey, France, you could have like fucking Vietnam without doing anything. And of course France was like, oh yeah, I'll take it. Oh, two-year draft. Here, I think this one will be fair. Land starting experience mobilization size plus four percent mobilization impact. I want to do this so we can still get some of the benefits, but uh, we won't have like the negative immigration attraction. Two-year draft is fine. If ever we need to raise in times of emergency, I know that decision will hopefully always be there. Damn. We lost some ripe territory. That would have given us so much in Asia, like so much to work with. Decent pop, uh, a back door into China, everything, but man. Just couldn't pull it off in time. All right, South Peru, you are gonna be in our sphere sooner rather than later. Check crisis map mode. Well, seems that France and UK may get in a war over some territory out here in the damn Pacific. I know I said I wanted to do. Okay, let me just try to get to blue and brown water. I just want to do this real quick just so we can get those decisions. I know I'm going all over the place with my like research wise, but I'm just doing it on like on a quick basis. Main reason is just because I want to get uh what is it wake and midway of the wake islands. Uh, we don't really need that. We don't need that. Navy logistics. What the hell is this? I wonder what this will do. I actually wonder what that will do. Oh, well, this will actually help us out a lot, especially that naval logistics one. That one won't take too long. Da, 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 da. So this one. Let's go for this. I kind of want to do that. Just wait one second. I want to see something real quick. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to go for Raider Group Doctrine. Try and get that one knocked out real quick. Then we can go back to, like, uh, hopefully doing some heavy industry upgrades later. Alright, so since Congo is not being really affected by anyone, I'm just going to stop that influence right now. Uh, yep, there we go. Austria Hungary now exists. Let's start talking with them. Last thing we need is North German Federation allies Austria Hungary and form some new axis. That shit would be stupid. Uh, it looks like that's not going to happen, but. Anyway, let's just try to like play our diplomacy game. Yeah, everyone's gonna take over a chunk of something. Screw it. We have enough funds. And Yeah, it seems that some of our people are actually making pretty good money now. Capitalists are a bit happy because they're not being taxed as heavily. There it goes. Um, uh, you guys head up here. I want this war to be quick. Since we already took the infamy hit, we're going to just like go for it. because I'm pissed that France thought China, I mean Vietnam, I keep calling Vietnam China. And I think it's like my brain is registering as Indochina, but <laughs> those bastards think that they could just steal it from us and like have no repercussions. No, we're gonna take over the Tuklora Empire, expand American influence in Africa. It seems that Africa is gonna be our main domain once again. As much as I would have loved to expand into Asia, this pop system and everything, it has me worried about getting into protracted wars of nonsense. Oh, game? Oh, no, no. Okay, we are back after that tragedy that just occurred. Victoria 2 apparently died when I decided to split um, this army apart, so. <laughs> The game crashed, and I had to replay it from the beginning of this year. Um, nothing changed or nothing special happened. Uh, so, really, I'm just going to use this time to like wrap this episode up right here. Uh, because I am about to declare war on the Tilkhlor Empire. Yeah, let's just do this right now before I forget. We're going to do this. So, when we return, we shall deal with the Tilkhlor Empire. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. If you'd like to keep up with these videos, hit that bell for notifications. And you'll get a ping every time I upload one. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again in the next episode without any technical difficulties. <laughs> this is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness. Pure niceness.